And I'm live. Ah, ooh, getting messages at the same time. Busy, uh, it's a busy day. It's my birthday. I'm, uh, I'm old today. I'm old every day, but I'm older today. Older than I've ever been, and now I'm even older. And, uh, yeah, doing a little, uh, AEW Fight Forever. Gonna, gonna work on finishing up, uh, gonna work on finishing up this, uh, this parry that I made. Seems right. Here, all right, there we go. And we're gonna hop right into our. Oh, apparently, I added new stuff since last time. I'm gonna hop over into move set, and we're gonna try to pick back up where we left off last time, and yeah, get a uh, get get this guy finished up so he's ready uh, ready to keep going through the uh, the whole the whole one player mode here. All right. We got through the running attacks last time. There are like advanced settings. I'm not going to worry too much about all those now. I might come back to them later. Uh, I'm so, such a novice at the game that honestly, like uh, any <laughs> uh, and anything beyond the basic moves is probably uh, more than I need to worry about. Um, oh, I got my my green screens flying off here. All right, there we go. Let's move over there. Let's just uh, yeah. Kind of do one of these. Hey, Dave the Monster Truck Nerd. Happy to see you, bud. Thanks. Thanks for the birthday wishes. It's uh, It was a, a, an uneventful birthday. I did very little today. I drove out and had to pick something up uh, off of Craigslist and uh, otherwise just regular old stuff. You know, follow me on Twitter, but if you check my recent feed, I got Andy Brown and Kid Bandit. Oh, Alan, that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited for uh, the upcoming Blitzkrieg shows. I, I, uh, I should follow you back on on Twitter. I'm surprised I haven't already. Uh, I've been I've been neglecting a lot of things I've been meaning to do there. But yes, I will. Uh, all right. So I don't come off the top against a standing opponent often. Uh, so my choices here are a little bit limited. Let's see, I def that's definitely not a parry move. Ooh, not that either, but it's, it's fancy. It's sloth style, interesting. Diving seated senton. Let's see. I mean, moonsault to a standing opponent is definitely one that I've done in the past. Um, I don't break it out that much these days, but it's the most that I've seen there. Okay, diving onto a grounded opponent. I mean, these days it's a it's a swanton bomb. Uh, a recently added wow, he does it like I do it, where he just crushes somebody. I didn't see them last year. Yeah, uh, I I think uh, it'd be cool to see Kid Bandit get booked out here a bit. Um, they I I've not met them in person, um, but we are uh, we are internet acquaintances. And they they seem pretty cool. I know uh, everyone I've talked to that's worked with them likes them plenty. So, uh, you know, until you meet someone, that's really the best you can kind of gauge by. <laughs> All right, standing high strike. Oh, it gotta be gotta be the axe handle, right? Like that's. That's the most I would do for... Oh, are, they really have the elbow drop to a standing opponent? Oh, love that. I don't do it, but I love it. Glad to see it in the game. All right. Oh, it's just two different elbow drops, huh? Let's see. Which do I think looks more like how I would... I guess that one's probably going to have to work. My, uh... My elbow drop choices are limited because I do a terrible top rope elbow drop. I've I've done one, uh, probably ever. It was not that long ago. It was at Wrestling Open, and it was just terrible. Thankfully, there was other stuff going on, so no one no one noticed my terrible uh, elbow drop. Let's see, I definitely don't do a meteora. This is going to be what like sort of a top rope rough rider. Oh, almost like a famouser. I have done a missile drop kick, but I do sort of the the shotgun style. Uh, yeah, a little bit more like that, sort of like what Delmi does. 
That's more Delmi style, but let's see. Rope walk missile drop. Yeah, yeah, if there's anything that says parry, it's walking the ropes, I mean. Alright, yeah, let's go with that uh, that first shotgun drop kick. Ground low strike. Ooh, that knee of that King Kong knee drop. Double foot stomp. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I could ever do a top rope double foot stomp. I feel like I'd hurt somebody. And not in like the I'm going to win the match way, but in the more like we need to call the authorities way. So before I forget, happy birthday. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, yeah, thanks for the birthday wishes. You know, it's... uh. Uh, another another year <laughs> come and gone that's really uh you know it's it's uh th 39 today uh not not a day that you uh, you know not not one of those big birthdays that you tend to think of as being a big milestone but yeah, so I have a springboard off and skill equipped wow i don't have a skill equipped Okay, well, that makes sense. I don't do those in real life, so I don't really need to equip that skill, I don't think. Now I need to go back in, because I, I bailed out of the move set. I got so I got so flustered by not having uh, not having the ability to give myself moves I would never do in real life that I just canceled right out. Bailed right, <laughs> bailed right out. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to get into some of the more advanced stuff at some point environmental moves corner wow these are very specific okay yeah that's where we're at environmental moves yeah that's probably the one I do <laughs> let's see what the others look like oh that's kinda like it too uh, do I jump into mine I think I just kinda charge into mine yeah, that's going to be the one. High strikes, let's see here. I definitely do a running line in the corner, although this weekend I debuted the running chop in the corner. Nailed uh, Angelo Carter with one of those, and phew, that was it was a good one. <laughs> yeah, not a, not, not a huge win at Blitzkrieg this weekend like we would have liked, but what can you do? Um, still thought it was a great match. Um... It's uh, I, one of it's it's the only it's the second time I've ever worked with uh, with Jay George and Angelo Carter and um, I really uh, I thought that there's a growing um, I heard it from a few people a growing chemistry there I think as we've started to know what to expect um, from the other uh, we've started to sort of see like oh I can I can try this they can try this you know here's there's counters that we can kind of think through. Um, a lot of planning going into a match like that, which is pretty exciting. Uh, oof, that forearm's violent. I'm, I'm gonna stick with this clothesline. It's a little basic, but uh, my my move set's a little basic sometimes. That's right. Yeah, both matches were for Blitzkrieg. The uh, the other one being Blitzkrieg's Vermont debut. Psych that they're going back to Vermont in August. That's gonna be a good time. Uh, sounds like tickets for that go on sale Monday. Um, let's see. Running front. I don't do a running drop kick in the corner. Are you, are you out of your mind, game? Come on. Let's let's get real here. Now, a Yakuza kick, I definitely do. I did that to, uh, I did that to J. George this weekend. Yeah, probably the drop kick, I guess. Because I definitely don't do any Meteoros too heavy to run knees first at someone that's a lot you know that's a lot to do to somebody <laughs> oh man um yeah psyched for uh psyched for this weekend secret show in brooklyn uh i don't even really have the details i just know when i'm supposed to be there and uh rip and delmi know where the show is so i'm just riding with them uh, then next weekend rip and i were supposed to have a double header in canada and we found out this morning uh both of the shows were canceled so I guess guess I get a random weekend off. One of the only weekends off between now and when we leave for Japan. And then, of course, the week after that is Pro Wrestling Grind. That's going to be a heck of a show. Let's see, went to Six Flags and Aguam today. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Uh, I uh, I did see the truck lineup for Greenfield. It was um, it was underwhelming, but my truck tastes are kind of, you know, my picks are a little weird anyway. Um. Uh, but uh, yeah, I wish I, I don't think I'm even gonna make. I was gonna try to go just for the pit party beforehand. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it because I gotta be out of. I gotta be out of. I would have to leave there at 11 to uh, to get down to the booking. So we'll see. That might might just be that it's not in the cards this time. Now this I do. Okay, yeah, that's going into the... That's going in there. Super cross-legged suplex. Oh, wow. That's like the, uh, the, the Delmi fisherman, only from the top rope. Whew. Twisting Vader bomb. Tell me more, game. Oh, what? What? That's crazy. I have been thinking I ought to start doing a, a Vader bomb. Arm drag out of the corner. Ah, oh, Lucha drag. Yes. Ah, oh, love seeing that in the game. What? That's so goofy. Ah, oh, fantastic. Austin Sunrise. Oh, the Panama Sunrise. Got it. Avalanche DVD. All right, all right. Show me, show me what you got, game. These, these are the fun moves. These are the crazy ones. So I, I want to see all of these animations. Yeah, I heard the uh, the developers of this game um, were saying that part of what took so long is that they wanted to animate every uh, every movement, as opposed to um, doing motion capture. And a lot of people were saying they weren't so sure about, you know, if that was the right choice or whatever. But, like, remembering back in No Mercy and, like, all the games on those old THQ engines, wow, that is crazy. Um, that was how they did it, was they found a great clip of a particular move or something being done, and then they animated it to look like that, rather than having someone try to come in and try to recreate it um, and it not being quite right and doing it with motion capture. And I think this actually has benefited from being motion captured because all of the animations really feel like those old No Mercy animations. I really appreciate that. All right, I can. I don't have to. I w I'd sit here and watch every one of these, but instead I'll just try to look for something that I might actually do. Oh, a little bit of a like a Doctor Cube thing going on there. Or, I'm sorry, Dr. Redacted these days. Yeah, that's someone I gotta make in this game soon. I gotta make Redacted in here because there's so many good deathmatch modes. Yeah, gosh, what 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 do I do in there? I mean I, I, I can do definitely a superplex. I ought to start doing a top rope falcon arrow. Cause why wouldn't I? I do one at regular height. Why not do one from from the top? Let's see what my options for that are. This is my I'm now adding aspirational moves to my character. Moves that I'd like to do that I have not yet done. That's probably closer to how mine would look, because if I recall this animation was a little too clean. Let's see. Wow. Boy, they get right. Yeah, that ain't gonna be the one. Let's let's stick with this one. I'm I'm aspirational, but I'm also realistic. Assisted bulldog. Oh, is this a, is this a buckle dog? Oh no, it's a, like the Trish Stratus. Snake eyes. Now this I've definitely done, but not in a little while. Eh, probably not the toss into post. Nah. Snake eyes though, why not? Oh boy, here oh, Avalanche Dragon. That's the this is the Kenny Omega, right? Oh, Burning Hammer is a choice too. The, oh, the Avalanche Kreutz Man, the stuff these guys break out is just totally crazy. Let's see back superplex. 
Yeah, I don't really... God, I don't really do any of these things, but maybe I'll find one I like anyway. Let's see this burning hammer. Is this going to be the animation where he sticks him up and pulls him out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to have to be the one I... Yeah, I think I'm probably going to take that. I don't do a burning hammer, but... <laughs> Uh, part of me wants to do that too. There's some great ones here on the terrain. Oh, 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 Tajiri. All right. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do the burning hammer, even though I definitely don't do it in real life. I got to start doing more dangerous wild moves. Oh, knife edge chop's going to be the one, right? Whack. Short arm lariat. Oh, this is the this is the big show. Yeah, Rip's gonna have that when I make him in this game for sure, because he definitely does that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Such violence. I think this is the one I already gave him. Yeah, I don't need a second one like that. Oh, this is Rip. Yeah, that's Rip. That's also Rip. Man, he does all the chops. Violence party. Little Delmi Exo. I mean, also, it's, you know, Super Dragon, but... Evac Alice 01. Welcome, welcome. Trying to trying my best to recreate myself in AEW here and uh, doing my best to do moves I actually do in the ring. Let's see here. Top rope Lariat is not going to be the one. Oh, 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 I should definitely start doing that. You know what? I'm doing it anyway. Aspirational moves. I thought I freaked out when I realized Love Dog's music was a redo of Kiss's Love Gun. And yeah, you know, uh, it gets me every time. Great entrance theme. Uh, warmed my heart to hear it at MLW down in Philly this weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, kind of funny because, you know, Rip Bison does the Love Gun Lariat named after the song. And then. It was, I mean, like maybe a month after he started doing it that uh, we heard Doug's theme for the first time. <laughs> so some something about great minds thinking alike there. What a great theme, though. I really do like Love Doug. He's uh, him and LMK and Becca and so many, uh, so many of uh, these younger wrestlers are so great at finding a bit and committing to it. I love that. I love to see it out of them. And a lot of them, you know, also can really go, too, so. All right, we'll go with that. No need to make it complicated. Hardiac Arrest? What? I've never heard it called that. That's a bizarre name for that. Nietzsche, okay, yeah. Middle round kick. Oh, is this going to be like... Ooh. The King of Wishful Thinking. There we go, Walmart out of my <laughs> with Kirby. Oh man. Yeah, uh Kurt Kirby uh using that that uh pop punk cover of King of Wishful Thinking is really fantastic. And I love everything Kirby does. You know, he's also he's also probably the most unsung hero of some of the local shows with everything he does to make them happen. It was a bummer that he uh, didn't get to wrestle on Saturday. He had to run off and help his theater troupe with something, so he was gone during the match he was supposed to wrestle in. Rope run, penalty kick. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Oh, what a nutcase. I would know. I will not be running on top of the ropes anytime soon. Shattered Dreams. Oh, I'm so glad to see this is still making its way into video games. Alright, yeah, I guess... Yeah, I guess...
guess they'll do that. Why not? Drop kick, eh. Back rake, foot stomp combo. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's very violent. Yeah, it's cool to see some of the different options that are in here. DM me after we got back. Yeah, Kirby Kirby rules. I'm glad I'm glad uh I'm glad to hear the fans reach out when they miss him on shows too cuz he needs to hear that. You'd be surprised how little it really registers with most of us how much fans enjoy seeing us places. Uh because, you know, wrestling in its nature as a performance is very self-indulgent. Um, you know, it's it's a very me 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 kind of thing that's how it starts and then over time you realize oh no 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 this has to be a them 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 thing it's got to be all about what what do the fans want and somewhere while you're learning between the two a real disconnect happens where you have no idea if the fans really care about seeing you somewhere or if you're just another face and name on a show so yeah I'm glad glad you, you reached out and, and messaged him because uh, yeah, Kirby's great. Always love to see him. Oh, assisted arm lock. Was, oh, okay. That's a simple little thing. Assisted surfboard, rope bite, jawbreaker, and suplex, step walk, tornado, tornado, slide through senton. Oh. Slingshot Falcon Arrow. Now there's something I could do. I don't, but I could. Slingshot sit out power bomb. Yeah, I've seen a few folks do this or variations of it. Slingshot suplex. Stun gun. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. That'll work. What's your Discord? I can send my portfolio there. Uh, I do not have a, uh, a Discord. Pong suplex, toss to ringside. It's a toss to ringside. Is this just going to be shit cannon them out? Yeah. Yeah, why not? That seems pretty good. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo, doodle -doo. Oh, there's a bunch to pick from here. All right, let's see. Rope trapped clubbing strikes. Oh, this is the like the the Sheamus, right? Yeah. All right. I think uh, I think just the chop is kind of my thing. Oh, that's the the old Bob Holly. I took that from him right around probably 2011, 2010. I think it was 2010. Let's just go with the stomp, I guess. Skip the advanced settings for now. I'm going to come back to all the advanced settings at some point. Get those set up, but for now, I'm just going to take care of my basic stuff. Oh boy, team stuff. So we're looking at mad moves, huh? Oh, that's cool. It's reverse goozle. Ooh. Electric chair and neck breaker. Ooh, that's terrifying. Ah, yes. Vintage Young Bucks. Magic Killer, of course. Yeah, got some, some old school bullet club. Paradise lock penalty kicks. Oh, God. Oh, no. Guys. Be nice. Uh, uh, oh, ooh. Such violence. Wow. A lot of this stuff is very fancy. Very not in the vein of anything that myself or Rip do. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's a little basic, but I'm gonna give it that anyway. Collar and elbow. Oh boy, now we got a whole new set of got a double choke slam in here. We've been known to throw that. I mean, there's no way that they have threat level midnight in here. That's a real specific, uh, real specific thing that we do um, that I haven't seen anyone else do yet. I've seen stuff similar, but not quite the same thing. Oh, that was almost like Miracle Gen. Hey, there we go. Oh, it's into the backbreaker. Here's the double choke slam. Yep, there we are. Yep, that's going in. Let's start at the top and see what we got here. So this is out of the corner. I guess we've definitely done a doomsday device before. Um, it was terrifying for everyone involved, so I don't know if that's going to stay in the repertoire. We also do the, we both come off the top with big moves, but I don't think that's going to be in here. Oh, the sea stars! Hey, Delmi and Ashley's move. That we've then see a bunch, seen a bunch of other people pick up since then. But it was theirs. Assisted neck breaker. Ooh. Assisted spike pile driver. I mean, they have to be assisted. It's a spike pile driver. It's by definition a two-person move. You know, it's fine. I don't need to. I don't need to sit here and critique how they named moves in this game. Now, uh, that's very Miracle Gen too. BME. Oh yeah, best moon salt ever. Buckle bomb. Enziguri combo. This is some old school young bucks too. Also, I would see Fist over in Chikara do that once in a while. Ooh, that kick on that. Something else. That's ah, a little basic. Double deadly drive. Oh my. Oh, good heavens. Yeah, we gotta start doing that. I'm gonna tell Rip. Double suplex. Oh, fatality. Yeah, little Super Smash Brothers. Head scissors, cannonball, senton. Oh, oh God. Yeah, not really strikers, poetry in motion. Oh yeah. Ooh. Gonna put that on the short list of maybes. Whip into big boot. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've done that before, but I like this better. Definitely not. Knee strike, doomsday device. Uh, eh, why are they giving me such weird options for moves? A lot of these moves are just stuff where I'm like, I don't know, I'm not ever doing any of these. I guess, I guess we could do that. Now, if there's a double big boot here. Oh, stereo shoulder blocks. We definitely do that. Um, ours are ours are flying though. We wouldn't do the short little standing one like that. That's not very exciting. Toss stereo drop kicks. Oh, this is a uh, young bucks. High low lariat spear. Double hip toss. Ah, double flying shoulder blocks. This could be the one. Oh yeah, that's a, that is a staple of mutually assured destruction. Love to see it in the game. We must be real popular. Mm, let's go with that one. Two for one attacks. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's probably closer to something I'd actually do. 
I don't throw spears, but you know, you get the idea. <clears throat> All right. I think for now, that's going to have to be good enough. It's a bit of a history buff and like to listen to people talk. So what can you tell us about early career of PVV Andy Licious? <laughs> Giant Monster number 27. Uh, Giant Monster 27, I'm not totally sure. Uh, where, 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 did, where did that come from? Because it's possible that that was a thing. It's possible also that that was not a thing and just a thing that got attached to me at some point. Entrance scene. Yeah, I did that already. All right, I think we're good there. I think we're good here. Um, so early career of PVV slash uh, Vicious Andy Licious. The story of Vicious Andy Licious is one of my favorites because uh, that was not a name I ever intended to use. Um, I was uh, at a show and I was Perry Von Vicious. I was probably eight or nine months in to performing and was told at the absolute last minute possible, hey, we need you to be a good guy tonight. And it was a very cut and dry era. This was 2008. And uh, there was a pretty, pretty distinct and fine line between you know, uh, being being a good guy, being a bad guy. And uh, at the time, like they were, the rules were even such that like, oh, if you wear black boots, you're a bad guy. Good guys wear white boots. Like that was a thing I heard. Um, and so they said, oh, we need you to. So they told me like, hey, you know, we need you to be a uh, we need you to be a good guy. I, I told him, like, that's fine, but all my gear says vicious on it. So, and they're like, well, you've got to figure it out because you're the next match and we need a name. And Perry Von Vicious won't work. Uh, so the match before ours was coming back through the curtain already. And I was like, I don't know, I'm vicious. And the next thing I thought of was my brother's name, Andy. And as I said it out loud, I heard what the last name had to be. I said, vicious Andy Licious and started chuckling to myself. Uh, Vicious and Delicious wrestled twice ever, um, both for you know charity companies. Um, so not you know I, I there's there's footage of it that you can if you dig back through my YouTube far enough you will find. Um, right now I'm just glancing at the uh, customizing customizing all of this to see. Uh, Oh, okay. Hard. Yeah, that's that's pro wrestling grind. I'm 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 just glancing to see when I do make pro wrestling grind in here. How is it gonna work? Yeah, it's hardwood all in there. That's good. Guardrails. We definitely have guardrails, but they're not. They don't have covers. Yeah, they look like that. Yeah. <laughs> thousand dollars. I've got a thousand dollars. I'm rich. I'll, I'll buy anything I want. All right, good, good. Um, and uh, let's see. Early Perry was a uh, was a rich snob. He was three hundred pounds and did not wear it well. If you've never seen the before and after pictures, ask me sometime. I'll I keep them on my phone. Um, and uh, yeah, wore a full suit with an ascot and a monocle to the ring that was all tear away down to my my gear, uh, which you know, having the complexion of printer paper and a physique of a half inflated beanbag chair, uh, taking taking that velcro suit off got the appropriate crowd response. People did not like what they saw. Oh, okay, we got a little uh, little of this going on here. That's what we'll, what we want. I do want to see what some of these look like. I love the split. That's cool. Okay, that's a little weird. Some strange. Yeah, you can make some weird stuff in here. Oh, I like the grass. That's cool. What's it like? Oh, some of these are so. Like, they 
Yeah, this is so weird. Like a chain link. Yeah, boy, there's some weird stuff you could do in this game. These are all presets in here. Man, that's that's wild. All right, let's uh, let's get to this one, and I can mess with the colors. I assume. I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, early Perry was uh, was a as you know sort of standard basic. Uh, early 2000s bad guys you could get um, and uh, yeah I didn't I can't oh, I guess all the ropes of grind are black so I don't have to change that and all the corner posts are black too all right well that made that a lot easier yeah those can stay black as well all right let's see about type of cover if we can get yeah now we're talking all right oh, it looks like I got to do them all the same okay that's okay wow they do they have weird ones in here I'm sorry I, I keep wanting to tell the, the stories of my time of my my wrestling stuff but a lot of this is catching me off guard here all right I guess we got to go with the white and it'll be all of them, but that's still pretty cool. Yeah, boy, they got the, the, a lot of these. A lot of these weird settings they have here are gonna make it really easy to make some very strange, strange-looking stuff, and that's pretty cool. Temporary preset. All right, let's. I'm gonna go back in here and see. So I'm pretty sure there's got to be a way to change the color on this. I just don't know how. Set okay, well, whatever. Stage and ramp. Is there a way to give it doors, and is there a way to not have a ramp? Um, yeah, as far as uh, yeah, tell tell me in the chat where Giant Monster number twenty seven came from, because I don't recall using that name. But if you found it somewhere, then it probably happened. I'm not. Yeah, I certainly won't rule it out. Oh wow, they really do. They have like some indie entryway setups here where it's like oh yeah there's just plain curtains and a thing plain curtains and an even smaller thing regular old pipe and drape they got a stone hinge entryway what <laughs> and then we got the distinctly AEW things here all right i guess for now i'm gonna call this the closest they have to grind at the moment Oh, it's, uh, it's got the alerts on because it, it has nothing because there's no screen. Right? Is that why I'm being told? So, yeah, no screen. Good, good. Let's see. Is there an option for no ramp? Because that would be perfect. These ramps are wild, man. What What is going on here? I guess if there's hardwood, that's going to be, yeah, that's the closest to what we enter on. Objects. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. Put all this, referring to my time as a kaiju monster. <laughs> uh, yes, wrestled for kaiju big battle a whole bunch. Um, don't tell them I told you, I guess. I, I don't know. They... For a long time, they were very weird about people talking about it. I don't much care. Um, I worked there. I was uh, Dr. Cube a few times. I was, um, was, I think it's Gomimon is the giant trash monster. That costume was the worst. 
Uh, that costume was so hot and so heavy and so huge. And the one time they had me do it, it was at this little venue in Somerville, Mass, out by Boston. Uh, wrestled just like a 10 minute match really didn't do a whole lot of much because you can't in that costume and came to the back and like immediately just started ripping the costume off of me as fast as i could because i was just so overheated really something else all right let's see what is what is that oh we can have a little uh have a little press conference so holograms okay why are there sting energy drinks are those a, are these a thing are there sting energy drinks that I'm not aware of um, the uh, the character that I portrayed most often at Kaiju big battle uh, was a character called Erebus it looked like a um, almost like a universal monsters um, kind of my green screen is doing something weird I'm gonna see if I change some of my lighting here if it gets better uh, it could be better, could be worse. I have no idea. Um, it's washing me out, though. Oy. I'm pale enough. I don't need the lights helping. Um, this marina. Wow, this is... Uh, how do I just turn them off? I guess green would be it, right? Like, we definitely put some green lights up at Grind. Yeah, I'm just going to make both of them green. That feels right. Spotlight's probably also green. Yeah, we get those sort of green, um, the green up lights that uh, Coral, our sound guy, sets up for us that looks so cool. Oh, that's way better. Okay, I'm going to do them like that. Oh, that is cool. All right. I'm going to call that matchup screen let's see let's see what these are yeah I haven't you can tell I haven't there is a sting energy drink but it's nothing to do with the icon <laughs> okay fair enough fair enough uh, but the, it's the stinger energy drink they're showing in here is not a thing right that's not a real thing maybe it's in the story mode it starts to like play along Oh, I like that it gives me little transitions for this. All right, let's just see the plain AEW one. Yeah, that's going to have to be good enough. I am going to go ahead and name it. Uh, name it Grind, but it's certainly unfinished. All right, and let's go ahead and finalize for now. I can't figure out how to make that square on the ring green instead of red. I just didn't see it anywhere. Who the hell is this guy? Uh, I, do I follow the industry so little that I'm not recognizing people who matter? Or did they just have a lot of people that don't matter in these transition screens? Yeah, they got that Stinger energy drink on the screen again. Look at it's, uh trying to figure out how to point here. It's right there. What is that? Oh, Surge. Man, I remember Surge. All right, let's see here. I guess I should just continue my road to the Elite as Perry. Should I play a mini game in the meantime? Yeah, let's play a mini game before we go too much further. Hey, Dizzy Hellfire's in the chat. Diz, we were just talking about my time with Kaiju Big Battle. <laughs> what, a, what an opportune time to show up. Thank you for the birthday wishes. All right, yeah, let's play one. Let's play one mini game here and see what what we have in the chip gather. AW Pop Quiz. Penta says, "Join us." 
and death race I'm going to try the dark order one and see what this is because I, I very much don't know what anything in this is we'll put Barry in here and we'll go random for the rest so we got Cash Wheeler Orange Cassidy and Brian Cage. That's a pretty random setup. Oh, is, is Kaiju uh, down in Florida on Saturday? Place masks over the heads of fans to make them join your team. X, Y, and A place mask. Okay. All right, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Oh, Metrocon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I never, I never see that they're doing anything anymore. Um, but I'm glad they are because, uh, you know, wrestling benefits from having weird stuff as part of it. Earn one point for each mask. Earn a bonus point if your mask color matches the fan. Earn a bonus up to four for masking multiple fans in a row. Player with the most points wins. This is the weirdest idea for a game. Ah, hey, come here, you. Don't you run from me. Hey, you know what? You guys keep hitting each other. I'm going to go around this way. Dang it. Dang it. These guys are quick. I'm so bad at it. Why did getting in the ring hurt? What is with this ring setup? Where am I? Oh, this is what all those weird ones were. Ow. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm on the brick wall. Almost got one. I was slow and terrible at this. Early post for SDR. Tampa, I couldn't go because it was day of my cousin's turn. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's weir weird that uh, I, f I feel like, um, I don't know, I'm not sure how things are running over at Kaiju these days, but it feels different. But I'm not there, so it's what's going on over there is none of my business. All right, let's go ahead and continue this uh, this road to elite with with my custom created Perry Von Vicious. I'm so bad at video games. I don't know what on earth. Oh, did I did I start this as punk? I must have. All right, we're 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 bailing out, and we're gonna start over as Perry. I'll probably get a couple matches in before I gotta call it for the night, but you know, glad glad you could all join me here on my uh, my birthday stream. I have a, I have a cake in the other room from my mom, and uh, we uh, we grabbed a pizza earlier, and that's been about the extent of my celebrating. Uh, very uh, uh, limited on gifts this year. All right, let's go new. You see, is able to delete the pro. Yes, I want to delete the progress. I want to start all over. When Steve left, got kicked out. I mentioned this wasn't my first rodeo like this. I think they were trying to end the SD. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not totally sure uh, what was. I mean, I know a little inside baseball on what happened there. But you know, uh, I, I, it's. I think it's pretty obvious which side I landed on and who I sided with because. Uh, you know, redacted and I still see each other all the time. Difficulty, yeah, I think easy because I'm so bad at this. I am not a vegetarian. I would consider myself a hero. Live video subtitles. Sure. Play hints. Oh, I'll be needing that. Yes, thank you. All right, here we go. Well, I can send you some Monster Jam diecast as a birthday gift to be worked on. Oh, hey, I would, I would definitely take take them oh you got me something from the jamboree no way get out of here uh you're you're all very generous this is awesome um 
Yeah, I think um, so far the gifts that I... Oh, that's right, this is where they black out the, uh, the video and the music for you all because it's uh, copyrighted. It is very cool. I'm going to go ahead and skip it because I've seen it one time already and I don't need you to all sit through a black screen. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I think my, my gifts so far have been from... I mean, I bought this uh, the, ah, Danhausen shirt. I would. Um, but, yeah, my... Uh, uh, my in-laws got me um, Japanese um, uh, plug converters so I can plug my stuff in while I'm over in Japan. Tony Khan offering me a contract for AEW here. Love to see it. I can skip that whole video. I... Tony Khan, it's Perry Von Vicious. I missed your call. This is so goofy. I am a busy guy. I would like to be a part of Double or Nothing. I could totally be in a casino battle royal. Whatever you guys need, I'm happy for the opportunity is literally how I accept bookings. Phone looks small as heck in your character's hand. Uh, to be honest, that's about how that's about how it looks in real life too. So. I'm just a giant. I will say that uh, uh, creator wrestler Perry's arms are a little, a little bit better shape than mine. <laughs> yeah, he's, his arms are thick like Derek Neal's. I, I, got, I got a little work to do on that. I, instead, my arms are lanky. I got long arms. Hard to, hard to get the size. Another, another video that you all can't see, which I'm thankful that they do that so I don't get a copyright strike. Love to see that. All right. Well, this does its thing. I'm going to get a quick drink of water here. I've been yammering on for a while. Yeah, D Dudley energy. Yeah, uh, it's 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 the glasses on a wrestler, man. Uh, they've really cornered that market. Although Dan the Dad, uh, you see it in him a bit now, too. Boy, do I like Dan the Dad. A super nice guy. I met him a bunch of times. Um, actually, was in a match with him down in Texas before the uh, the world shut down. Before he had discovered his uh, datitude, if you will. Hey, there we go. Look at that. That's fantastic. Yeah, let's do that, Jr. Yeah, we'll go to the pay per view. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Thankfully, I'm better at wrestling in real life than I am in these games, because as you'll see in a minute, boy, do I struggle. All right, let's do this. Oh boy, got to pick my card, Penn and Teller style. Come on, three of clubs. Pretty close, I guess. Somehow I'm in the ring with someone older than me. All right, I'm not going to watch all the entrances. Because that's a lot. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh God, I'm so bad at this. Oh. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I should be better at this because of all the time I've spent doing it in real life. Oh. It's 
Let's see. Does I'm embarrassed. I'm not familiar with the monster truck you told me about the other day. Um, I believe I believe the monster truck I mentioned the other day to you was uh, would have been uh, Bigfoot, which uh, it's an age thing. Uh, I'm old. Bigfoot was not really on TV or one of the like super mentioned names uh, by like the 2000s. And uh, that's it, it's a very long story to get into. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Dave, the monster truck nerd on here, uh, and Alan both uh, both know a great deal about monster trucks. So any any primer that I'm not able to give because I'm you know for example struggling to play a video game, uh, they would certainly be more than uh, more than capable. Uh, get out of here, you! Come on, let's throw them out. getting better at this though I think it always takes me a minute to relearn how everything works giant monster 27 that's gonna stick with me now Hey, I did it. I made an elimination. I did it. Yeah, that's right. Jim Cramer did his last ride this weekend. That's uh, that's really exciting. I saw a great picture of him and Bob right before it, or possibly right after it. And that was cool. You know, unlike wrestling, uh, he certainly gets to go out on his own terms. that one. Guys, come on. Hey, hey, come on, guys. Has everyone got to team up on me? go makeshift parry go round all right Sammy you've got to go you got to get out of here yeah get out I don't know which one of us eliminated him but one of us did Ugh. yeah I got him with the masawas that makeshift parry go round. I'm starting to get okay at this game. Not great, but serviceable. Hey. Stupid Malachi Black. Sheltered from monster trucks and wrestling. If I'm totally honest, my parents really didn't want me watching wrestling either. Um, but, you know, they had two sons who were 
by middle school, just about six feet tall and both of us about 200 pounds. So I don't blame them for not wanting me to, me and my brother to watch wrestling. It just seemed like planting some bad ideas in our stupid little heads. And, uh, you know, we, we did, we roughhoused a lot, and it, which is dangerous because we had a lot of much smaller friends. Roughhousing with each other, it's like whatever, you know, we were both big, but, you know, most of our friends were considerably smaller than we were. So I definitely see where my parents were concerned. Especially having been a teacher, I totally get it. The last thing I wanted was for those kids to know I was a teacher and start, you know, showing their teacher all the cool new moves they invented. Another makeshift parry go round. I'm starting to get the hang of this game. The trick seems to be to not lose. <laughs> oh, shadows over heck. Come on, Perry, wake up. We still got a lot to do in this battle royal if we're going to stand any chance of winning. There he goes. Come on, Perry, get up. You still have a special. There we go. Slaughter has beef with Lacey Evans. I mean... Slaughter's irrelevant, and Lacey Evans is also a little bit... Oh no, I got eliminated. A little bit irrelevant. Slaughter follows me on Twitter. Uh, I think Slaughter followed a lot of us on Twitter pretty quickly. Hey, still got a plus 79. That's pretty, probably pretty good. Like, you know, anything that's a plus seems good to me. Yeah, Slaughter follows everyone. Hey, you know, he's just being a good brother, giving you the follow back. Hard to get mad about that. All right. Four turns to get ready. Let's see. I know my energy was low, so I should definitely eat something. Yeah, let's do that. It's really weird to love to meet him one day, you know? Same with Perry. Yeah, it's, cr it's crazy. For someone I've interacted with so much, we've never actually met. Long to... I, okay, I know I asked this last time. Is Long Do in Washington, D.C. a real place... Like, is this a scene that could happen in real life? Could I go out to pizza for there? Yeah, the, uh, the bottle of wine next to me makes about as much sense as having it next to CM Punk in that other animation. All right, good, we did that. Why is, why is there an exclamation point next to work out? Oh, it really wants me to work out. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's do this thing. 
Why not? I work out. I work out pretty hard. I slaughter a couple years ago. Same day I met Greg the Gas Tank. <laughs> Big day. <clears throat> John Doe Pizza. Come on. What a name. And uh, when, when I lived in Santa Cruz, there's a place called Pizza My Heart. Pretty good. Pretty good name. <laughs> I'm turning this light on again because I'm getting washed out anyway. I have no idea if the lighting helps or makes it worse. How long can Perry do this? He's got to be tired. I'm tired watching him. I like that it gives actual, like, tips on how to do the movement. That's cool. Good little pump. Yeah, I look just like him, only my, my hair is tied back. I don't know what that pose is. This little. I guess he's, he's feeling his pump. Okay, I get it. I see it now. I'm nitpicking the weirdest things about this game. Official pizza of Maryland. They don't cut corners. Is that because the pizza's round, so there are no corners? Uh, it's a geometry joke. I don't know. Let's see. That's basically the outfit I'm wearing now, only I'm wearing a uh, Disney World shirt, not a Danhausen shirt. Hey, it's Kenny Omega. Why would he be a prick to me? Look at how I tower over him. Oh, he was only kidding. But nothing compared to his... Well, hard for me to say that he's wrong, per se, but I don't... You know, come on. Come on, Kenny. Be nice to me on my birthday. <laughs> I think that's enough uh, dilly dallying. We got to get at least one more match done here. Yeah, let's go to Dynamite. Let's go to the show. Yeah, I still have turns left to play. I don't need to play all the. Do you want to do the arena? Yes, I do. Clearly, that like I'm I'm playing the game the way I do things in real life, where uh, I get to town, I eat something, we uh, we hit a gym and have a workout, and then I go to the show. We don't go out. We don't really sightsee. Like, I can count on one hand the number of, like, sightseeing things I've ever done on the road for wrestling. It's like the Monster Truck Hall of Fame Museum. Uh, the first time I did it was coming back from a wrestling show with, uh, with Rip. And then uh, uh, saw the Alamo in, uh, in Texas and saw the Liberty Bell. Uh, years and years ago with my buddies Levi Shapiro and Buddy Royal, the classic connection when they were out visiting. We had a show down by Philly. All right, let's get this match going here. Enough of my silly reminiscing. Take that. And that. Get him. Oh, wow. What a, that's, a, that's an outstanding reversal. I had not seen that. That was very cool. Big Vader splash. Eat it. Send him for the ride. Big back elbow. That's a move I used to do a lot back in, back in the rich guy Perry days. Not that as much, but wow, like that. Woo! Trying to see if I can hit the ref. Not for any reason. I don't have anything against Aubrey Edwards. I just haven't done it before, and I kind of wanted to see. Uh, 
uh, the the basketball hall of fame museum i i have never been to that i remember when they built it um same with the volleyball hall of fame oh it redirects your strike i wanted to see if i could strike aubrey edwards oh yeah as soon as i get distracted and start messing around in here all of a sudden i get whooped There he goes. Hey, don't do that. Ooh, hit him with the Masawas. Ooh, big strong boy. The rarely broken out PVV uh, missile drop kick. Yeah, uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium is really fantastic. Um, you know, I, I lived in Santa Cruz for a while, so it was a real short drive. Um, and uh, the uh, the Redwood Forest, I mean, it goes on forever. But for a while, I worked in a Redwood Forest. I worked at a little basin. Uh, which was part of Big Basin State Park, the oldest state park in California. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was really an experience. Hey, hey, stop beating me up. I have a special to use. There we go. But, yeah, it was cool to work in the middle of a redwood forest. I would go running on my lunch break and, uh, And it was through a redwood forest. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And then I'd go have my lunch out in the middle of a redwood forest. Pretty great. Here we go. Now let's see if I can remember how to pin. LB. Got it. Here we go. Big win over Dustin. Big win. Hey, those are pretty good. Uh, pretty good rankings there. Did I complete any challenges? These are daily. I have to do those every day. Who plays this game every day? I mean, maybe maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I should be playing more often. Bring me a ball. PVV comes out on top tonight. That's right. Big win for old Pear Bear. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that the stream for this week because uh, I still have some cake for my mom to eat and uh, possibly some leftover pizza still out there, too. And, you know, it's birthday. That makes it a cheat day. I can eat whatever I want. Calories don't count on your birthday. Um... But yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, I uh, do this every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time uh, until I get to Japan, in which case, who knows what the schedule's going to look like. Uh, let's see, this Saturday you can see me if you're somehow in Brooklyn at a secret show that I don't even really know the deal. Uh, the weekend after that I'm off, but then we got Pro Wrestling Grind coming up on, I use my cheat sheet here, Friday, July 28th. Eighth, hallowed be thy name, Pro Wrestling Grind, East Hampton, Massachusetts. That's going to be a great show. Me, Delmi Exo, Travis Huckabee, and uh, Mike Skyros in the main event to crown the second ever Pro Wrestling Grind Grand Champion as the championship has been vacated. Going to be a hell of a match. Going to be a great time. Going to be a huge show. Uh, hope to see you all there. Hope to see you all at Blitzkrieg coming up in Vermont in August. whole bunch more shows before I leave this country for a while. And, uh, and then then it'll just be a matter of finding the shows on YouTube. I know that uh, the company I'm going over for, I can, I can tell you now on the stream what it is. I'm not uh, posting anything on Twitter or anything, but uh, it is Tajiri's company. It's a little company known as Kyushu Pro. You can look them up. Uh, should be a really great time. Some really unique talents there. 
Uh, really looking forward to getting over there, learning a lot, doing a lot of cool stuff. And I mean, honestly, going to Japan. That's the dream, man. Anyhow, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me on my birthday. And uh, I will see you all again next week. Take care. Have fun. Be safe. And uh, we'll see you then.